What's good with y'all, man? It's CTAZ. And today we got the best freelance you could run in NBA 2K24 this year. But first off, man, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody, man. I know I'm either finna drop this the day of or the day before. But regardless of that, man, I hope everyone has a truly blessed day and can spend time with their loved ones. So back to the tutorial, man. I know a lot of y'all been asking me for tutorials. So here I am coming through for y'all on Thanksgiving Day. And I'm gonna show y'all, man, this freelance is really different i really like it shout out to my boy rails gamertag man he's the one that actually inspired me to use this he dropped a tutorial on it in the past 2ks it wasn't this year's 2k and it made me think let me try this out and man oh man y'all just gonna have to wait and see how good this works this year all right i'm done talking y'all heads off let's get into it pest control who called about rats who won't smoke with us who won't smoke with us Smoke with us. All right, y'all. So first things first, man, we're just going to watch old gameplay and just break it down like it's film. Anyways, first thing you want to do when you hop into a play an online game is pause the game before the jump ball. Go straight to game plan. Scroll down to offensive settings. From here, you want to go to freelance. And from there, you want to find point. Point is the money freelance this year. I'm telling y'all, this freelance really helped me a lot. Again, it helped me get to the Go League. And it has so many just different options within the half court. And you could still run that pick and roll five out. Now, the one downfall I will say to point freelance is you can't call five out. All right, so first thing you want to do is you want to equip on the first position of the game. You want to equip your freelance. So you're going to hit right on the D-pad, R1 for freelance, and then X for point. All right, so as you guys can see, I slowed it down. This is what it's going to look like. On the right side of your screen, you guys can see they're going to pin down two double screens for your small forward or your shooting guard or even your power forward. You got to have shooters. So the first option I like to look for is called 12 or 13, man. Shout out to my Franklin and Toby dogs, man. It's right here. Y'all see it, the ball side corner, ball side wing. I like to set him on a back cut. It's like a quick hitter, and it's usually hard to defend because of how hard it is to defend back cuts. So, so again, now I'm going to slow it down for y'all just a little bit. Once you get into freelance and you dribble up the court on either left or right side, they're going to set a double screen for one of the corners. But before they even get into the action, I like to run a little back cut for the ball side corner. And if they not, if they're like denying it too tight or they're onballing it like this guy is right here, I'll just make them pay, kind of check them, you know what I mean? Let them know like, yeah, you can't off ball that guy because I'm going to make you pay basically. And that's the first quick hitter I like to hit. I call that 12 or 13. Again, shout out to my Franklin and Toby dogs, man. Now in this next clip, I'm going to show you all what I like to do on a fast break because Damian Lillard just missed a three. I like to call pick and roll action and look. If we pause it real quick, we have our five out spacing, y'all. So like if you're worried about not having good spacing with this freelance, you ain't got to trip off that because look. All of my players are spaced out. Again, the only thing you can't do is call passing screen away because they won't set up in that five out freelance. But if you call pick and roll, like I said, as you guys see right here, they will space out. And then you just got to, you know, if they switch, then you just hooping, basically reading out of that pick and roll. And again, if we scroll back, if we go back just a little bit, Damian Lillard missed a three again on a fast break transition break. I like to not let my opponent get set. So I'll just run pick and roll action, quick action, like what normal a lot of, you know, comp players like to do where they just spam pick and roll, I'll do that on a fast break. Here, my opponent missed again, we get a stop. And now we're gonna slow it down. And if you guys look in your right corner, we slow it down a little bit. I have Gordon Hayward as my ball side wing or corner guy, and he has a mismatch. I also like to take advantage. And on top of the mismatch, he's playing it way too, too tight. He's like denying it basically. So the way my opponent looks like he has his defensive settings is deny. So whenever they have it on deny, you just send that guy in a back cut. And if you don't know how to send a player in a back cut, if we go back a little bit, all you got to do is hit R1 and then your icons will pop up just like that. And then you want to tap the icon of the player you want to send on a back cut. So for Gordon Hayward, it's square. So I'm tapping R1 square. And if you look at to the left of your screen, that little menu is going to pop up. And sorry, I apologize if this is glitching a little bit, but all you do is click the one that's called cut to basket and bam, y'all saw right there. Watch it right back again. You see, I, I actually tried to run it earlier in the possession. I didn't let him space out properly. Now he's spaced out better. We run that 12 option, 12 or 13. And bam, we just get a poster on Brook Lopez's head. So right here, we get another stop. We force Brook Lopez to shoot a bad shot. It's slightly contested. And look, we're gonna run it again. Like, look, I'm looking at my options. I see Malik Beasley now 
on Gordon Hayward, that's a mismatch. And you just send him on a back cut and make him pay all day. Like if literally he can't guard that, then I'm gonna just make my opponent pay all game by doing that. All right, so if the 12 or 13 option isn't there, I like to call it 12 on the right side, 13 on the left side. You go to Franklin or Toby, man, I know right now you're probably smiling right now, but yeah. Anyways, the main option that you like to look for in this freelance is this double screen right here, this pin down. So I see Brandon Miller, he's gonna come off of it, and usually they get stuck. So off ball screens this year is OD. Like look, if we go back a little bit, Damian Lillard gets absolutely cooked and stuck on those screens. And if he doesn't on ball that, or not on ball that, if he doesn't off ball that and try and get around it himself, the AI is gonna get stuck all game long. So look, here it is again, man. My opponent is off balling off the ball side corner. So I'm gonna run 13 since we're on the left side, just send PJ on a back cut. And he can't stop that. Like I'm telling you, if you off ball, you just gotta make the guy that he's guarding on the off ball just cut. And right there, if we go back again, if you don't know how to do it, R1, icons will pop up triangle, and you just pick the one that's called cut to basket for him. And it's just gonna work every single time. All right, so right here, we're gonna get another stop. Yep, Mark Williams gets the block. And right here, I could call for a pick and roll, but y'all know how that works. So we're not gonna do that here. So now we're gonna set up to our pin downs, our double screen downs. And look, he's not controlling Chris. And Chris, who's a better so defender than Dame, still gets stuck on the screen. So I'm telling y'all, I like this a lot because even if he on balls it or even off balls it, it is so hard to defend this action right here. Because if he's, if he's controlling Malik Beasley, which is on ball, the AI is still going to get stuck. So it's really pick or choose your poison, you know what I mean? You just got to make sure you have shooters, like I said, to make this freelance really work. All right, so another thing I really like about this freelance is it's quick. They run it every single time. As long as you dribble to either the left or right side of the court, they'll set a double screen down. So right here, I take a, a decent shot. Kind of lagged right there. But I take a decent shot with Gordon. I just mistimed it because we lagged. And look, you can run this. You don't have to run this with your point guard. Gordon Hayward could run this and LaMelo can go off and set some screens or receive screens. And again, we run it right back and they miscommunicate and bam, we get a wide open three with Brandon Miller. And then here it is again on a fast break, on a transition break where I like to call pick and roll and we still get our spacing. Mark Williams, get me my, my screen and look, we're spaced out. We have our five out spacing basically all at the three point line. They don't guard it right. Like y'all see it like i could have easily shot that but for the purpose of this video i didn't so we're gonna go back oh and he has to foul us now all right so it looks like dame's gonna get a bucket right here yep and then we're gonna get the last shot but i didn't hold the ball and y'all gonna see now you're gonna probably ask what happens if my opponent is just off balling off the center paints in off the center so as y'all see right here he's using brook now he's trying to off ball off of a different guy that can't shoot and you will run into a lot of opponents that do this so if we run it back just a little bit further all i like to do is send him on a back cut now. So right here, as he comes around, those double screens, I'll wait. And then once they're done, Mark Williams, I'll send him on a back cut. And it's, I don't know why, but it's just so hard to defend that right here. Because I guess maybe it's the short distance that Mark Williams or whoever your five is has to cut to the, from there to the rim. It's so easy for him to just get around. And I promise y'all, as long as you have a decent center that could dunk and not someone that can't dunk, he's gonna dunk that every single time. So again, one more time, we'll play it back right here. Let him set his double screens. And after that, just set him on a cut. And it's going to work every time if you're running into an opponent that likes to off ball off the center. And that's another good thing, too, about this freelance. Like, you don't have to have a stretch five. Like, you can have him just set a bunch of double screens every time down. And then every once in a while, send him on a back cut because your, your opponent is off balling off the center. Right, so this possession right here, it actually got defended well. So I'm going to show you all how I hoop out of it if none of those easy quick options like this double screen is not open so i thought i was open i pass out of it now i'm gonna go pick and roll right away for the last 12 seconds of the possession he defends it well now we're just gonna reset because i get an offensive rebound and i like the mismatch with dame and lamello so i send lamello on a back cut instead of having lamello with the ball and so i just run the run the whole possession with brandon miller basically initiating the freelance all right so same thing again now he wants to off ball off of pj washington my power forward the other screener so right here i just wait i icon select pj and set him on a back cut and i'm telling y'all like for some reason it's just so hard to defend this like your opponent is just never able to just quickly react to this so you just gotta look and see where he's who he's controlling obviously which where his name is under and his name's under bobby portis right here so i just pick the player he's guarding and set him on a back cut and right here now he's off balling off the center so we're gonna go back to that cut to basket with mark right there bam he gets around him and it's easy to all game long and i can run with us i just love this freelance because you can run with the center 
that doesn't have to shoot the three ball. All right, so right here, man, we have to throw this clip in, man. Ah, uh, man, this clip was OD. We get a good shot, a great shot down, down in this possession with Brandon Miller. We just smoke it right here. But look at Melo. Hey, look at Melo getting up, man. I had to throw that clip in there, man. Okay, so now you're probably asking, what happens if he off balls off of the guy that's receiving the double screen? So like in this instance right here, he's using Giannis and he's guarding Gordon, and he's cheating the play right there. So as y'all see right there, he cheated the play. He ran around early. What I'll do is I'll let the double screen happen, but I'll have my icon ready to send Gordon on a cut. And right here, he just turns the corner, and now I'm hooping, drive, kick, lay. Like, that's just beautiful basketball. So I like this freelance a lot because it really makes your opponent think, and it's just a different look that you don't see often because a lot of players, like I said, like to run five out and just screen and roll all game and here it's just i like it like i said it's a different look and you have a lot of different options and not every possession is going to be nice and pretty where it's just ran perfectly you know what i mean obviously as the game of basketball you're going to get stopped here and there so here's a possession where i get stopped and this is what i do right after i get stopped so we try like look i get stuck on my icons i don't hit pat, cut to basket properly they run it right back which i like they run it quick and i see he's off balling off of lamello so we just Run that 12 option and get a standing dunk with Melo. Super easy, super simple basketball. Here's that option again, that read, whatever you want to call it again, where he's chasing off the double screen. He's guarding the guy that's getting the double screen. And here's what I like to do. I'll have his icon ready. So PJ right here, I see he's guarding PJ. I click PJ and I just set him on a cut because he's going to be chasing. As you guys see right here, he tried to go over the screen. So he's chasing from behind. You just set him on a cut and it's impossible for him. Like I said, with off ball screens being good this year, it's impossible for him to catch you. Here's another possession where it's not really pretty. Like we get stopped right here and now I gotta go to a pick and roll out of it because it's just not working. So right here, I throw it to the corner, 10 seconds. Now we just run pick and roll. We have our good spacing. They try to switch it. We make him pay and just go up and over Pat Connaughton because he's just too little. Here it is again. Like, look right here. He's off balling with Giannis now. And Brandon Miller has no one to defend but the AI. And look, the AI yes, gets sir. burned and it's an easy three ball all game. Like, just imagine running this. Look, I, look I'm running this with the Charlotte Hornets, a tier three team against a tier one buck team. Like, granted, this opponent was not good. But still, like, you know what I mean? Imagine running this with the Splash Bros. Like, it would be OD. All right, so now I'm going to show you the last option when you throw the ball to the corner. And I like this option a lot. I think we're going to, yep, we're going to get a stop right here. Mark Williams beats that shot up. Pause. And then right here, we get into our, our spacing, and I throw it to the corner. Lamella will cut right away. It's basically a give and go. And it's just like another cut to basket action. But they do that within the freelance. You don't even have to call it. If you guys look right here, my lines are going to pop up, and he's going to cut go back a little bit more you throw the ball to the corner the guy that's closest to him will cut like a little give and go and it's just an easy two points all game long you guys now here's me just hooping out of it we get a stop right here we're gonna slow it down and run that same corner option when you swing it to the ball side corner right here it sometimes it takes them a second to cut but like look they cut i see Giannis jumps and dame helps so now we just hooping kick out boom wide open three ball you guys all right then y'all that is gonna wrap it up for this tutorial i hope y'all dig it if you have any questions comments or concerns man let me know in the comment section down below i'm gonna try my best to get back to y'all and put y'all on all game as much as possible and if you want to see this freelance in live action man click either of these two videos man you're gonna see me go crazy with either of these two players right here on your screen but i'll catch y'all there